بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Welcome dear students to another tutorial on Adobe Animate CC 2020 This is a second tutorial on our series adding interactivity and this tutorial we are gonna demonstrate how to add interactivity using ActionScript 3 okay so in the previous tutorial we learned how to add uh, JavaScript and our file type was of uh, type HTML5 canvas document so I'm gonna create a new file this time it's going to be of uh, action script 3 type I'm going to select this and go to action script 3 see here you can go for HD standard anything basically I'm going to create I'm not going to uh, start designing everything from scratch so I'm going to just copy this these layers copy layers and I will go to my layers here and I'm going to paste layers of course it's going to give me a warning anyway don't worry about the warning right now F9 I don't know, it's, it's not working, so I'm gonna go uh, to delete everything. You see it's all commented because of course we are working on a different type, okay? So uh, let me close this right now. So I will go to fit everything on Windows. So everything uh, seems similar. This is my button, which is button start, and this is my button BTN main and now I will add action script before that let me go to edit preferences edit preferences and let me find out the code editor so I'm gonna change the font to be 16 so you can see it properly or better I will go to actions again okay so uh, at the beginning we with action script 3 you're not gonna use the wizard there is something else you can use which is called action or code snippet okay you can use this you see it's action script you can use this to add code to your document but I'm not gonna do that I will add the code myself so we're gonna start first of all by this code here stop this is gonna stop the title I'm gonna test it it will test it using my flash player okay you see it's stopping if there is any if anything wrong with the code you are not gonna it's not gonna stop you're gonna see the basically the document plays from first frame to the end sequentially so a stop is working so now I need to add the code so first first of all just like JavaScript I need to specify which item will be triggered or which thing I'm gonna trigger to run the code so I'm gonna of course use my btn underscore start and in action script you're gonna add something called add event listener okay and then we open parenthesis and here sorry again we specify two things two arguments we need to put here first of all the event I'm gonna say mouse sorry event dot click make sure that the case you are using uh, the letter cases are are correct and then the function that you are going to execute when you click the mouse okay so I'm gonna say start okay uh, let me just go here I did a misspelling mistake so start is not a keyword as you can see because the color doesn't change and now I write the function so it's gonna be function very similar to how you define it in JavaScript function I'm gonna name the function I'm gonna use the function name start as I used and then I'm gonna write it identical to JavaScript then I'm gonna say go to and stop which label middle okay and test click you see here argument count mismatch so what's the problem here basically this is a common problem that students at my students at least does uh, they forget to do or to put here an argument which is mandatory which is this one here okay you need to, to write a variable of this type e could be anything could be EVT could be even event which is a keyword it's fine but you need to pass this argument to this function so they are going to be related this mo is 
this event and this event must be identical okay you cannot write here motion event or keyboard event or touch event or anything else it, it should be mouse event so now when we click let me go uh, make it up a little bit so you see if there is an error here when we press this no error you see the problem fixed so this is the the, uh, the code I did this intentionally so you pay attention to it and don't do it so of course here could be anything as I said it could be E not necessarily events and I click again and this is going to be the result again I will copy paste this and I will do the main so BTN main and this is going to be my function main and this is going to be main and this is going to be start remember the count of the frame count in action script start from 1 while in java script start from 0 so we play click in the middle back okay that's it very similar just different syntax between how to trigger a function in action script and java script anyway again it depends on the document type that you are using Let's hope that this tutorial was useful and you enjoyed watching it. Thank you very much for watching. See you in next tutorial. Have a nice day.